Hello, in most of my videos I'm using different ESP32 boards, but I also have, have many subscribers that use Arduino. Arduino Uno was my first development board. Today we can find more than a hundred different development boards, but I think Arduino Uno is still the most used development board. I hi highly recommend Uno to beginners because it is easy to use and you will find like a million examples for this board online. And today I will show you this multifunction shield and a couple of examples for it. This shield can be used with any Arduino Uno or sorry, Arduino Uno clone. It is very easy to install. And this shield will uh, add many features to your Uno. You will get this for digit uh, seven segment display that can be used for showing some values for or can be used for making clocks, counters, uh, temperature monitors and something similar. Uh, here we have four built-in LEDs also very useful buzzer and here we have three push buttons and of course this potentiometer. Uh, here we can find more uh, connectors for additional modules like temperature sensors or Bluetooth module or you can connect anything you want. Uh, while prices of development systems are very high lately this module is still affordable. Uh, you will get a lot for a couple of dollars and buying link is in description so feel free to check. So if you are like me, if you love programming more than connecting modules on breadboard, this module is perfect for you. Or if you have a kid, this is also perfect, perfect gift for your kid. For example, this uh, potentiometer and push buttons are perfect to learn digital read and analog read functions or it is al always fun to play with LEDs. But uh, don't get me wrong, this uh, still can be used for more advanced project. This is not just learning toy. You can use uh, this module without library, but I recommend using library because this display is not easy to use uh, without library because uh, these uh, shift registers are used for controlling this display. This is library that I recommend for beginners because it have integrated functions for push buttons, buzzer and display. There is also a few examples which are great for starting. So here is seven segment display are always hard to record under camera. So here is demonstration uh, sketch. I learn all functions from that sketch. Uh, here we have some numbers. So right now we can see value of this potentiometer. So analog read functions f analog read function is giving this number and number is displayed on this seven segment display. I don't know can you hear that? When I press push button buzzer is beeping and also I can turn on and off these LEDs with push button. So example is very easy to 
understand and it will help you a lot but there are there is also many different libraries for this module um, here is a library that I recommend when you want to display text on this display uh, showing te text on a seven segment display is not easy because uh, there are letters then can that can't be shown on seven segment display and I can show only wor words up to four letters of course but still I can tell simple story with this for example hi I need to tell you some cool stuff any is a nice girl she has a big ass John is her guy John is big and rich and I am bold and poor and the end story is finished so you can see it is very hard but you can tell simple stories using only four letters seven 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 segment display that's it for this week overall this is very cool shield I wish I had this when I started five or six years ago like always please tell me what you think uh, in comments I hope you are not mad on me because there are some unpolite words in my story but I thought it will be f funny if it's not please tell me in comments a link for this shield uh, is also in description so you can try So feel free to check it out. Have a nice day, stay creative and goodbye.